So there comes a point in every guitarist's journey where you have a bunch of open chords or cowboy chords that you can play pretty well, but bar chords still seem a bit too far out of the picture. And this point can be frustrating for a lot of guitarists because you get stuck in the cowboy chords trap, where you have a bunch of these chords that you can play well, but you're looking for something more interesting to play and you're not really sure how to progress and make them more interesting. You feel like you're just kind of strumming the same chords over and over and over again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to escape that trap. In this video, I'm going to show you six chords that you can use that are the same difficulty as your standard open chords. So without knowing any theory at all, here I'm going to show you six chords that you can use to replace their variations of your open chords, and you can use them to make your playing a lot more interesting. Our first chord is going to be the A sus2, played like this. Ah, that sounds so nice. This is a chord as a great replacement for any time you're playing the A chord. It's got a nice open sound and it sounds great in most chord progressions with your basic chords. For example, you could play A sus2, G, D, and E. Moving on, chord number two is this variation of the E chord. This beautiful chord can be used anytime you're playing an E chord, but it sounds best if you use it at the end of a song as a finisher. With all the open strings, it has soothing sound that'll ring out perfectly. Let's try it at the end of our last progression. So that was really cool because it's still really easy to play, but you gotta slide all the way up to the seventh fret here. But this is still just a variation of your standard E chord. And this chord's gonna sound best if you really make sure to let this open E string ring out so you get that nice full bass sound. You can now see how we can make just simple variations to our basic sounds to make really significant changes to our chord progression and make it sound a lot nicer. Let's continue turning up the spice and make this even more interesting with this G major 7 chord. Another chord that you can try using almost any time instead of your regular G chord is this G major 7. It's a little hard to get your first finger to kind of cooperate and get it in the right place, but after you've tried it a few times, I'm sure you'll get it. Here's how it sounds in our progression. Let's try and apply this to a different chord progression. Something simple like G, C, D, and then C. Pretty simple on its own. Let's try and make this a lot more interesting. So here's your G, C, D, C. Pretty standard, nothing too interesting here, but if we change it up, now we can sound like this. That's pretty beautiful, right? So, what we're gonna do here is start on our G major 7. And then we're gonna slide all the way up to the 8th fret here and play C major 7 sus 2. The exact same shape is down here with this G major 7. Just slid up so that second finger's on the 8th fret. Then we're gonna move on to D. So, this is a variation of our normal D chord. It's actually the same shape as a C. Just slid up two frets. So then we're going to move back to our normal C. Because we don't need to forget about our open chords, we just have to add them in with other things that are more interesting. And then we're going to finish off with our standard G chord. The G chord is a perfect resolution for all the tension that we've built with these interesting chords. So one thing you can do on all your normal chord progressions is you can just add in these substitutes here to make it more interesting in different variations. 
You can still play your G, C, D, C, but then if the second run through you add in these variations, it makes it a lot more interesting while still fitting with the song. And since we're at it anyways, may as well try something different to spice up our C chord. So let's try changing the C chord to a C add 9 played like this. We're going to play the exact same chord progression, just with a C add 9 instead. And there you have it, a collection of chords that you can use at any time to substitute and make your chord progressions a lot more interesting. You don't always have to substitute your chords, but even substituting one or two can make a big difference in making your playing a lot more interesting to listen to, and a lot more fun for you to play. There are a ton of variations just like these that you can use to make your playing a lot more interesting, and they're a big part of learning to improve on guitar. I tried to cover as much information as I could in this video to help make your playing instantly better, but obviously I can cover this a lot more depth in a full program, and if you want a step-by-step -step program with practice guides, you can check out my course in the link in the description below this video, where I'll cover a lot of useful information for beginner guitars. Thanks for watching, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to get my newest uploads right as I post them. I'll see you in the next video.